And as he's narrowing in, it looks like he's just on the brink of catching them. Yes, sir, that's my son. He's adopted. But you know how it is. The riders stay doing Squidward dirty. Cheer up, Squid. It could be worse. Yeah, you could be bald and have a big nose. The Avengers seen what type of demon timing these people are on and how dangerous they are. But they can't help themselves and still let them go up in their ship and dip out. Y'all was saying how you wanted a part two, and the first part hit number 24 on YouTube trending, so oh, say less. So Proxima Midnight and Cull Obsidian pull up to the king's doorstep, trapped outside by a force field. Wakanda hasn't progressed past segregation yet. I'll never forget how Killmonger was like, hey, y'all know you can share these resources to help other black people, right? Banish this nigga! They acted like bro said the most diabolical thing. Black Widow clocks that one of them is missing and realizes that they rolled Corvus Glaive into a pack. Surrender now, Wakanda forever, and we, Wakanda forever, will let you live, Wakanda forever. No, nigga! It looks like Cull Obsidian got himself a prosthetic hand. Me personally, I think it would have been cold if he came here with one arm and was still cooking up, straight Hansel Emanuel type timing. Proxima signals to let out all of the Outriders, and they're completely rabid. Niggas be like, oh, don't worry, he don't bite. The Wakandans realize they have no choice. It's Mike Vick season. They start blasting them. Bucky's gun got more creative class body part attachments than Kim K. But I take a look in the background and I really wish I didn't because this is still pissing me off. Bruce is really the strongest one out here but wanna be shooting from inside Tony's armor. How you on the squad but you don't wanna be in danger? Then you should've became a fucking accountant instead. The old Hulk would've seen these dogs and thought dinner. Falcon comes through spraying, weave, and whips off three of his little drones again, firing them off. And I bet he was making that dumbass face, swearing he saved the day, but it didn't work. They all ate it and just kept running forward. Falcon really loves the idea of going out there and showing off how unqualified he is. Hey pal, you just blowing from stupid town? This nigga's a diversity hire. Dropping mad bombs at the entrance, straight up nuking the Outriders as they're coming in. But that won't work either. All the Outriders got the hard skin of Kevin Durant. They're still coming and start surrounding the entire barrier. So he tells Shuri to open up the barrier to stop them from sneaking up from behind, no diddy. Black Panther makes the call and everyone starts running in ready for war. Cap, Nat, Bruce, and Bucky right there with them. They've been in Wakanda for so long, I know they all cultured up. Went back to SHIELD headquarters after this and asked the chef for some jollof rice. This scene is so dope, how everyone's running and out the pack you just see Cap and T'Challa separating themselves from everyone else. They smoking everybody, looking at each other laughing like yeah, these steroids go crazy. Hit a 70 yard long jump and just got straight to boxing, probably anything they can get their hands or paws on. And listen, there's way too many CPU characters out there getting gnawed on like a chew toy for me to commentate at all, so we just focusing on the Avengers. That's all the MCU does anyways, they be treating the Fantastic Four and X-Men like side chicks. Captain America got one pinned down and knocks his ass right out. And mid-fight, Black Panther gets a call from his sister Shuri. Brother, Vision's forehead big as hell, I'ma need some time, I need 20 minutes. You got 5 minutes, bitch. Bruce is in the Hulkbuster armor and is still fighting like he's the Hulk. I don't even know man, it makes no sense. We are not out here calling lob plays for Isaiah Thomas. Use the armor to his best abilities. Bucky is spraying but he gets his gun pushed away and ends up getting smacked to the ground with his whole arm stuck in the Outrider's mouth. I know little bro took a bite and tasted straight zirconium was probably so disappointed. Death. The fuck is that? But Bucky stabs him and Cap and T'Challa continue to show why there's levels to the superhero stuff. But they are getting swarmed. I don't know, like, where's Ant-Man when you need him to just come out here and step on everybody like they're a bug? I'm pretty sure he's still recovering from the Civil War battle. I need help! You've been hard for like a goddamn year! See a doctor! War Machine is up there spraying unlimited bullets straight booming them. But the thing is, we already said on the scouting report, they're immune to explosives. Read, nigga! Read! No! He gets clocked out of midair and eats a face full of dirt, and it's the ops rolling up again. It's crazy, this isn't even a horror movie, but they still said let's get rid of the black people first. Tackles T'Challa next, got him hitting the handsome Squidward on the ground, while his homie joins and they toss him away. The way they act in, the Black Order must never be feeding the Outriders. Poor creatures be reaching out their hands for food and receiving a dap up. Cause this type of hunger on display is insatiable. They threw him to the ground and said, oh yeah, give me an arm, those teeth. Legs. 
and it only keeps getting worse like every passing season of Grey's Anatomy. Actors looking like one of those before and after soldiers in World War II. Because they start going for Bruce next, taking all the armor off of him to make a new toaster. Remember in part 1 we talked about how these two are the presidents of Sneak Nation and know the ancient art of fight back nigga? Well they clearly taught it to their pets, which is crazy. Whatever happened to just sit and roll over bruh? Bruce is fighting for his life and it's really starting to look grim. The Black Order got the Avengers looking like the Forgivers. This is terrible work. But out of nowhere, a light so bright even Stevie Wonder would win side it starts beaming down, melting all of the Outriders. I remember I was sitting next to one of my homies in the theater and he was like, Oh, this must be the Hawkeye entrance. You keep talking, man. And you shut the fuck up. We see Stormbreaker going through and is just cleaning house, saving all the important characters and Bruce Banner. A new haircut, a new fit, and a new weapon. My boy Thor pulled up looking fresh as hell. With his squirrel and pencil homies, he moving like a Drake feature, getting ready to save the day. Got his teammates cheesing. They all know there's no way they could fumble this W now. Bruce been a bench player the whole movie and now he out here talking like an all-star to the ops. Nigga, I think nigga, it, it could go down in this motherfucker. That's what I think. The Avengers start debriefing him that it's Proxima Midnight and Call of City and out here causing havoc. But he said, We do not care. Man, bring me Thanos and starts charging in. Saw Thanos sent his sidekicks instead of coming himself and said, I. Right. It, became it became personal, personal with me. With I'm finna turn your Robins into Red Hood. Running in, jumping up in the air with the 70 inch vert and a lightning strike smashing the ground turning a bunch of Outriders into fried chicken. Now that there's free eats all around the battlefield, T'Challa, you for sure gonna bless up the homeless black population with some food now, right? No. No, I don't think I will. Quick intermission. Y'all know I never tell you to sub, but I am asking for your support on my second gaming channel. It's just as enjoyable as these videos. Instead of commentating movie scenes though, I'm just commentating video games while playing it. It's already been shown so much love and this is just from announcing it on my community tab. I uploaded the lizard boss fight alongside this video so it's up right now. Go support. Thank you. Back to the video. Call Obsidian is murking the CPU trying to get his kill streak up to call in a UAV to find vision. And T'Challa has seen enough. Get away with this! Booming his ass right to the ground. Rocket pulled up with Thor looking like a Fortnite back bling and it got him feeling himself. That boy is out here spraying until Bucky peeped mad Outriders coming at him. Knowing Rocket is 2 foot 6 on a good day, he decides to pick him up off the ground like a little boy in order to prevent him from becoming a Burger King menu. All this shit for $2? They're for sure selling lemur meat. And he starts hitting a helicopter with Rocket blasting OD Outriders to death. But we know what type of timing raccoons be on, straight burglars. So he started pressing Bucky for his arm and gun. Bucky says no, but Rocket talking about how he finna take it anyways. Lil bro talking like Rick Ross. Meanwhile, Thor is straight cooking, hitting a 180 no look into a slash right to the chin, hold that. But right next to him, Steve is gassed. That boy in the heat of battle, huffing and puffing crazy. When Thor last saw him, this man was in tip top shape on your left head ass. Hey captain, I can see the Gatorade symbol over your head, you fat ass nigga. I can't even blame Thor for getting that bro like that. I get it. Whenever I see Ned Leeds on screen, that should be having me ready to do push-ups right there. That boy Groot made a shish kebab. Oh yeah, that's my nigga Branch. Groot showing out in front of the Avengers, trying to secure himself a max contract, got these boys legs dangling in the air. But listen, my thing is, Wanda is the strongest person out here. Well, it's between her and Thor. So why is she camping up top? I really hate when people don't use their god-given gifts. Why are you a 7-3 mechanic? Whoever drew up this game plan needs to be fired, cause Wanda peeps out the window and sees the goddamn forest and underneath the ground bulging like a heartbeat. She started thinking to herself, hmm, damn, Wakanda got some interesting grass. Hold that thought. Until giant gears pop out and start slashing through the whole army. I don't know what Black Panther looking at us for. Unfortunately, bro bought a feast on some immigrants, a mean 5 cents for all y'all to fix this 2 million square foot lawn. The gears continue to cut down the whole Wakandan army, and that's when Wanda's like, dang, I should probably pull up. While she's watching millions of her teammates being murdered out there, deciding if they really need her for real, the others step up, Rhodey and Falcon working together, shooting up the inside of the gears, blowing it up. Thing is, despite their inability to swim, the two of them have the ability to fly, which not other Avengers have. Cause Black Widow is down here and so is Okoye, fighting for their lives and they see the giant gears coming over to turn them into ground beef. 
Katie finna glue the remnants of them to his head. But Wanda comes through last minute to lift them all up into the sky and checks behind her to see a horde of Outriders coming through to feast. And goddamn, their teeth look crazy. And then Wiz Khalifa make a song about them hoes? Hitting a no look behind the back to clear out all of them. And of course, she had to hit the superhero right, look back. But remember when Proxima Midnight told them that Corvus Glaive died? Psych a lot! Cause she put the word in and bro is most certainly alive still. They was waiting for Wanda to leave so they could catch Vision lacking. Man, they keep topping themselves. Forget Sneak Nation presidents, they're the Sneak Nation gods. I want y'all to peep poor Shuri's face. She ain't sign up for all of this. Look at this man. I don't know what's scarier, knowing he's homies with Thanos or his teeth. Niggas be like, how you know I ain't brushed my teeth, bro? <laughs> Shuri was so shook that she ups the blicky and started blasting him, which he of course blocks. But Shuri's guardian, bald bitch number 72, gets back up and goes in, getting kicked. Shuri literally doesn't get touched and goes flying off, softly rolling down and is apparently knocked out. Her ass is fine, she took a dive because she didn't want to fight back bro. Give her her Oscar, because he buys it and just goes looking around for Vision, who manages to sneak him and sends the both of them tumbling outside the building. And I really don't understand, this man lifted Mjolnir was the biggest equal to Ultron, why does he need to be babysat so much? Cause hey bro, Falcon calls it out and gets tackled to the ground, stopping him from getting over there, which is probably for the better. Thing is, the Avengers should be able to trust him in a 1v1 like Duke Dennis with a woman anyways, but instead they gotta be moving like this with him. Hey, bring a friend for my homeboy, he's a cute. Got no real faith in bro, cause now Cap calls it out to everyone and it's Bruce who's flying into the rescue. Falcon and or Bruce? There's like 14 superheroes out here. How the fuck are these the only two options? To be fair, Wanda was getting ready to go too, but she gets snuck by Proxima Midnight getting knocked down. She's staring over her, licking her lips, and turns her around. You gonna die. Proxima Midnight is ready to call game. Wanda's brother Quicksilver already in hell telling them to make room. She'll be here soon. But Black Widow and Okoye are both here to jump Proxima Midnight. And listen, I promised myself I would not make any bald jokes about her for this video. So Okoye's bald ass watches Black Widow block, weave, weave, and then block again. And she's literally behind Proxima Midnight fighting Black Widow. Has the sneak right there in her hands, but instead runs around and starts fighting her from the front alongside Black Widow. Weave. She really had $10 million right in front of her, but instead took a dinner with Jay-Z's ugly ass. See Vision and he's just getting little broed. They bopping bro around like an Instagram thought. But why is he still so weak? Did they not heal him on that table? We literally saw earlier Wanda could close the hole, or was that just the equivalent of putting a band-aid on a broken leg? But Bruce Banner pulls up to save the day, and Vision looks sick at the sight of him, literally holding his stomach like he gotta take a shit. Like, come on, Thor, Wanda. Shit, I would've even Shut taken up, Rocket. Yeah. God, why did you do this to me? Call Obsidian hooks Bruce's arm and Bruce sends both of them flying through the forest onto a rock. This is a $10 billion suit and Bruce just tossing it around like a soda can. Type of friend you cannot let him borrow your car cause he gonna come back with straight tires. Call Obsidian grabs Bruce and knees him, stops his repulsor blast and does a flip over bro's back ripping his arm off. But... There's something about losing limbs that gives people heightened attributes. Sasuke, Optimus Prime, and now Bruce, as he charges in and jumps over, hitting him with a Chris Brown backhand. Call Obsidian finished start talking about how he sees something in him, he gonna change one day. Bruce uppercuts him, but gets his next hit blocked and gets rocked dumb hard into the water. Call Obsidian decides this is where Bruce's story ends, the book that nobody read. But Bruce had a different idea. Bruce used a hand that was cut off and presses it to send Cull Obsidian flying into the sky. But remember how Wakanda has a shield wall, right? Yeah, well, that shield is a dome. So Cull Obsidian goes dragging across it, literally getting fried until he eventually just explodes. Now that's one of the Black Order members down, but there's still three more to go. And she gets three of her attacks blocked as one of the gears passes right over their head giving two of them haircuts and Okoye just a nice breeze of wind. Proxima Midnight with the Ellen cut now, kicks Black Widow right in the chest, gets her attack blocked but tosses Okoye away like the side character she is. Proxima is just a different breed bro, what was it LeBron's dumbass said? She's Hermity, 
Black Widow gets her police brutality sticks and weaves out the way of the slash, <laughs> blocking her sword out her hand. And you would Got think him. having no weapon bettered Black Widow's chances, but she's Hermothy, managing to knock Natasha to the ground and go for a stab, but gets blocked the last minute. Wanda got smacked once and been in the background napping this whole time, so she finally wakes up, drool on her face and all that, throwing Proxima Midnight into an incoming gear, turning her into minced meat. So that's Squidward taken care of, the sea bear got his ass, Cull Obsidian, and now Proxima Midnight. So that only leaves Corvus Glaive, who's bullying Vision, still stabbing him, and tells him right to his face, Game recognized game and you looking kinda unfamiliar right now told that man he doesn't belong in this league. Vision is cooked. He got re-stabbed in the same spot that's had him on a Hawkeye power level the entire movie. But luckily, Captain America comes through and tackles Corvus Glaive, hitting Corvus with two rights and shoes Vision away like an unwanted pet. Thing is though, how the heck did he run all this way before any one of the flying dudes could get over here? Cap's doing his best, swinging, being able to weave and eventually smack his staff away. But all that did was give Corvus Glaive the ability to feel Steve dying with his green scaly hands for real. Blocking him, choking him, and throwing bro to the ground. Pulling up and starts choking the life out of him. All hope is looking lost for Steve. He's already accepting the fact that he's gonna be hitting the two-step with Peggy real soon. But, out of nowhere. Vision actually steps up and does something for once, stabbing Corvus Glaive right through the chest with his own weapon. That boy needed to turn his mic volume up. So that's Proxima Midnight, Squidward, Cull Obsidian, and now Corvus Glaive moonwalking with Michael Jackson. And just when the Avengers thought they were done washing their ops, and here we go. Thanos is here, ready to get the Mind Stone himself since his subordinates pulled up and failed. The Avengers see him, and with no planning or anything, just decide to run in there one by one to be embarrassed. Bruce goes in for a punch, and he ends up plastered in the mountain behind them. Captain America sees that, and is like, hmm, maybe if I do the same shit, it'll work. Literally just getting thrown to the side like it was nothing. He got up and was ready to hit the... Shut your ass up. Black Widow jumps in and Thanos grabs him, violating with a right hook. Had the king's legs dangling in midair in his own kingdom, those re-election chances gonna be looking grim. Falcon comes in and he just gets his wings clipped mad fast. Wanda seeing all this and comes to terms with the facts that yeah, Vision gotta go. Imagine having to kill the love of your life to save the world? That's such a tragic position to be in. I know some of y'all wouldn't be strong enough to do it. Rod Wave gonna be protecting his burger like Spongebob in that one episode. She starts beaming Vision right in the forehead as the Avengers continue to try to stall for her. War Machine is spraying at Thanos and literally just gets crushed like a soda can, tossed to the side like this is a recycling bin. So far, no one has sniffed a successful attack on this man. And that doesn't change as Bucky is shooting and literally just gets knocked out. Thanos didn't even need to do all that to stop him, just say a random assortment of words to trigger his brainwashing shit. Pineapple 6 fights T Grizzly Salmon and watch him no, tweak no, no, out. No, no, no. Okoye throws her staff and just gets knocked away as Black Widow gets trapped by Tree Roots. Group peeps that Thanos is using his own cousins against his friends and wasn't having it, tries to fight back but Thanos just bursts out of it. Time is running out. Thanos been walking in slow motion just to give y'all niggas a chance, but it's still not looking good. Wanda looking back like, oh nah, he's this close? Starts putting two hands on the steering wheel to destroy the stone faster. Steve Rogers gets up and starts hitting these to try to distract them, but it's all in vain, he's not fucking with it. So Captain America decides to just slide in, knee shot, chest punch, and an uppercut, stopping Thanos from petting him. Thanos is putting in a solid light. 0.5% effort into pushing his hand down, but Cap is doing a good job of stopping him. Thanos looks at him like, hmm, you kinda strong, little bro. Good shit. Now take your ass to sleep. The entirety of these Avengers are knocked out, and the ones on Titan are slumped too. It's all up to Wanda, who's trying to stop him from coming to grab the stone while destroying the stone with the other hand until it happens. The stone gets destroyed. But Thanos can't believe, they really thought they did something with destroying the Mind Stone. Dog, I snatched Doctor Strange's chain like 5 hours ago. Using the Time Stone to bring Vision back from the Tupac concert so that he could get the Mind Stone for himself and complete the set. Wanda sees this happening and instead of using her magic, decides to just run in there. Getting backhanded, knocking her out mad quick. He walks up to Vision, who doesn't even attempt to fight back, 
and gets the mind stone ripped out from his head in the most vile way. But at this point in the MCU, there's like 97 members to the Avengers. And Thanos forgot to account for all of them, as Thor beams him with some lightning from Stormbreaker. I don't know what took bro so long. Nobody gave the call out that Thanos is indeed here? Thanos, with the power of every single Infinity Stone, shoots at Thor, but Stormbreaker cuts through it like butter, striking him between the titties. But there's no secret how this ends. We all saw the movie. You should have gone for the head, as Thanos just dips out.